Okay, so today I want to have a quick look at the CMAC video laryngoscope. It's stored here in the difficult airway trolley, and it's this meter little drawer that's everything to do with the CMAC. So I'm going to take this box out first of all. It's the, the main box that contains the monitor for the CMAC. So you've got this pocket monitor, which goes directly on top of the laryngoscope blades. Um, to use it, you need to put a battery into it. We've got two batteries here. So the battery just, there's electrical connections here, electrical connections here, it just pushes in and that's it ready to use. Now, one of the nice things about this monitor is it has an open to intubate, so there's no actual buttons on it to turn it on or control anything else. So we've got two main types of blades with the CMAC here. You've got reusable blades and uh, disposable plastic blades. So we keep one Miller 1 and one Miller 0 in the disposable plastic blades. And we have a range of reusable blades which come in the sterile packaging. So we have a Miller um, 1, Mac 0, Mac 2, Mac 3, and a difficult airway blade in the pediatric size as well. So five reusable blades currently at the moment. And with the disposable blades, it's currently only a Miller 0 and a Miller 1. So we're going to look at the disposable blades first of all. And if you want to use one of the disposable blades, you've got this little video button on the top that you're going to need. So we'll get one of the disposable blades out. So we've got a Miller 1, so you open the packaging. And what you're going to want to do is if you look at this, so you've got this light which will light up. You want it facing you, blade facing away from yourself, and just push this in until it locks into place. So that's your blade ready to go. Now with the pocket monitor, what you want to do is line this little notch up with the notch on here. And then it's just a matter of pushing it in till it locks. So that's the device ready to use. And like I say, one of the nice things about this device is there's no actual buttons on the monitor. It's got what we call open to intubate feature. So if I open it, it switches itself on automatically. So what you can see here, you've got your battery indicator. We've got a full battery. Um, and then at the top, you see we've got 44 minutes of recording space left on the device. So you can record your intubation. If you want to take a picture, it's a single press of this button and it'll turn green briefly to indicate that it's taken a picture. You want to record a video, it's a long press of the button. It'll flash green and you'll get the little recording icon in the top left hand side of the screen. When you're finished recording, again, just press the button to stop recording. Once you've finished with the intubation, it's the same thing. You close it to turn the display off, and then you can just disconnect the blade. You're going to want to charge your battery. So the battery just on clips and goes into the charger on the top of the difficult airway trolley, and the pocket monitor goes back into this case. Um, the plastic blade is disposable, so it just comes off and it's disposed off. And this little video button then goes back into the case. So you have a couple of options for mounting the pocket monitor on the blades. You can use it like we have shown where the pocket monitor goes directly onto the top of the blade, but that can be quite heavy. So we have another option where you can use a little connecting cable to take the weight of the pocket monitor off. So this is the connecting cable stored in the same case. What you want to do is you can see here, you've got the little metal notch here, the plastic notch here. So this just lines up this way and pushes on. And then what you could do is you can take your blade and then again, line the notches up and this should clip on here. So one of the nice things about this is you've now got the weight off the top of the ringoscope and it gives you a bit more control over the blade. And I find for people new to using it, this is much easier to use than with the weight of the pocket monitor. If you're experienced in video laryngoscopy, you'll have no problem with the weight of the pocket monitor. But for somebody new, I think this makes it much easier for them to use. So I'm just going to take this off again. And we'll have a look at the reusable blades. So, as I said, we've got the reusable blades in these sterile packages. So I'm going to take out the Mac Zero blade. 
So just open the top of the packaging and take the blade out. So it comes with a little um, plastic cap which protects the um, connection port while it's been sterilized. So take this off, but don't throw it away because you're going to need it again at the end. So it just goes into the packaging here. What you then want to do is the pocket monitor works exactly the same way. You line up the notches and when you open it up, it'll automatically switch itself on. Again with these reusable blades, the recording um, works exactly the same way. You've got your blue button here and you can use the connecting cable just the same as you could with the disposable blades. Once you're finished with the intubation, again, close it and disconnect the blade. Now this is now going to need to be sent off to be cleaned. So what you need to do is take the little plastic cap and just slot it into the end and push it in. There's a piece of paper that comes in with the, the packaging. So if you open it up and what you need to do is put one of the patient's labels with their details on it, just anywhere onto this form. Close it up again and put it in with the blade. There's a little label on the front of each of them. You want to peel one of the stickers off and place the sticker into the patient's notes. Once you've got all that done, if you give the blade to one of the PICU technicians, they'll get it sent off to be sterilized and cleaned. And then it'll come back into the difficult airway trolley once it's clean. One last thing to mention is you've recorded some photos and videos and you may want to get those off the device. There's no way at all to view the footage you've recorded on the pocket monitor itself. So you need another cable. And this cable comes in this little black pouch. So what you'll do, take the cable out. Now, if you're connecting up to a laptop computer or a PC, you don't want the battery in the device. So take the battery out. And we can leave it charging here. You'll notice when I put it into the charger, the light turns from a green to an orange. Orange indicates it's charging. Once it's fully charged, it'll go back to a green. And then you connect this up to the cable. You've got a, a standard USB port on the end. This just plugs into any computer and you're able then to drag the uh, videos and photos off the device onto the computer. The other cable that we've got in here is in this red case. And it's a cable that connects up to the full um, CMAC monitor, the bigger monitor that they have around in theatres. So again, this just clips onto the end of the video ringoscope and this goes into the monitor should you wish to use that monitor. So once the battery is fully charged, you take it, put it back into the, the case. The monitor goes in. We've got the reusable video button and the connecting cable. Back into the difficult airway trolley. If you have used one of the reusable blades, it's important that you stock that up again. So we've got a new one here to go into the trolley. And then again, check the trolley and seal it up. So let's have a look and see how it performs for doing an intubation. So I'm gonna use the connecting cable this time. So line the notches up. And I find you need a nappy or something just to rest this up against when you're, when you're using it. And the other end then plugs into the end of the blade. So line the notches up and then we're ready to go. So we've got a standard neonatal model. So if I drop this in, straighten that up. I think that's maybe one of the downsides of this. There's no actual stand to hold this up with the connecting cable. So we'll look go into the molecular first of all. We've got a nice view and then we can drop the endotracheal tube into the airway. Um, use it to lift the epiglottis. Again, nice view and drop the tube in. Let's have a look at it on the reusable blade and we'll put this time the pocket monitor directly on. Again this is a, a Mac blade and I think one of the things you'll notice is just how much of an improved view. So you look how little space this takes up. I have a lovely direct view. I'm not quite sure if you can see that on the screen or not, but I have a lovely direct view, which is as good as on the screen, and I have no trouble doing the intubation, either direct or with video. 
So the, one of the downsides of the plastic models is they are much thicker. So if you look at how much space that takes up in the mouth, I compare it to this. So if I drop this blade in, so it definitely takes up much more space. The direct view is not as good and you've got less space for tube delivery. Um, so for most patients, this works very well. But if you've got limited mouth opening or you need to do a lot of angling, you're going to find the metal blades work much better. They're almost two different um, laryngoscopes in my opinion. Um, I've also got a difficult airway head, so let's have a look at it. So again, there's the, the view where the epiglottis lifted. The tube going in. Try going into the vallecula this time. So again, you've still got a reasonable view. And that's the intubation done. Try the metal blade. Again, just because it's, it's narrower, I feel I have much more control putting this blade into the mouth. I'm not going to have to angle quite as much. There's my view there. I've got lots more space to deliver the tube and a bit more control of it. Go into the molecular this time and lift. Nice view and no difficulty doing the intubation. So works really, really well.